Vandalizing a Rhode Island icon stood before a judge today. Providence police say 25 year old Nathan Bomier turned himself in this morning. He's charged with a misdemeanor after the 58 foot termite mascot of Big Blue Bug Solutions was hit with graffiti sometime during the weekend before June 5th. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen spoke to police today and is in our control room now with more. Well, Providence police say Nathan Bomier walked right into the department today to turn himself in, his attorney standing by his side. Police say this is the man who spray painted and vandalized a Rhode Island landmark, Nathan Bomier. We told you when drivers woke up to see the big blue bug in Providence covered in graffiti, Providence police investigated and put out this photo of him asking for your help tracking him down. Tuesday morning, police say Bomier walked into their department with his attorney and turned himself in. The giant advertisement for exterminator Big Blue Bug Solutions has been there along 95 for decades. Late last week, crews came in and repainted the bug, even putting on a graffiti repellent. Over the years, Nibbles Woodaway became more than just an ad. It's become a landmark for the creative capital, which is why residents reacted strongly to it being defaced and why police wanted to track him down fast. We contacted the family, suggested he turn himself in. And I mean, look, it's not a major felony, but it's something that, um, you know, we wanted to get cleared up because it's, it's something that everybody sees as they're traveling on the highway every day, thousands of people. And it's, it's vandalism, it's destroying other people's property. And um, it's something we wanted to take care of as soon as we could. You had talked before a little bit about this possibly being more than just him, it being a group of people. Is that still being investigated? So the investigation's still open and uh, we, we still have interest in other people. And we will, of course, update you if there are any other arrests. The mayor of Providence was asked about his arrest today, and he had a creative idea on what a punishment should be. I'll have that for you coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.